Welcome back. This is Scott. And this video is part of a series of presentations that will cover the material in this book. So I hope you had a chance to join me on EG00. What I did was an introduction to the intent for this series. And please see that brief one minute video. Let's take a quick look at the schedule. So here we are with EG08. You can see what we've covered so far and what we plan to cover the next few videos as well. So before we get started, one thing I just want to remind everyone of, leadership is really not a position. So this series is not about the executive guide just for the C-suite. Leadership and executives are essentially anyone that make decisions and act upon those decisions. And that's kind of a Drucker definition. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Peter Drucker. So execution must be the DNA of the organization culture. So just as a leader must has to be personally involved in execution, so must everybody else in the organization to understand and practice the discipline. It has to be a reflex, a habit. So it should be enmeshed in every fiber of the organization and it's got to be part of the culture. I really like this quote, Organization, organizational culture is the shared values, customs, tradition, rituals, behaviors, and beliefs shared in common by the members of the organization. Anonymous. Execution, it, it's really not. It's not a program. It's not something that you add on. Uh, a leader who says, okay, now we're going to execute an AI and analytics culture is merely launching another fad of the month. And these programs are easily dismissed with no staying power, just as a leader has to be personally involved in execution, so must everyone else in the organization. Understand and practice the discipline. That's everybody's job. It has to be a reflex. It has to be a habit. It has to be embedded in the reward system of the organization. So let's take a look at that. So let's look at feedback loops. So with a reward system, those who successfully execute will be positively rewarded. And those that cannot turn the corner will be, have to be one of three things, retrained, moved into a different role, or helped to move on outside the organization. Now these are tough decisions, but let's think about it and just just quickly. Sometimes people just don't have the right training and failure might be because they just don't have the proper knowledge and that is a proper case for retraining. Uh, sometimes they're they're smart people but they just don't have the assets for a particular role um, but you know that they could be vital in another role. That's great if you can move them within the organization. And then the most difficult thing is to make a call, especially if you were the hiring manager or hiring um, a leader, uh, that it's just not going to work out. They don't fit the culture. They're, they're non-performing. And you just have to find a way to help them out of the organization. So focusing on education is not only an essential part of a business's culture, it is the one way to create meaningful cultural change. So let's look at this. This is a little vignette that we did on uh, Major League Baseball. I, I found this really, really interesting. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through here. So. Um, there are multiple reasons for underperformance. It could be lack of knowledge of training. It could be mismatching someone with a potential and placing them in the wrong job. It could be a temporary lapse caused by personal problems outside of work that will correct themselves in time. Or it could be the person is just not suited for success in your organization. These are tough calls, but they must be made. An interesting study in human behavior was made by Hing and Dai that moving someone into a new position can help those who have recently struggled, but arose the motivation and execution of top performers, at least in the major baseball league, MLB, but likely will translate to other organizations. So this study was done with four decades of data looking at batting averages among MLB players 
traded in mid-season. When players are traded across leagues, their batting statistics are reset. So that basically provides them a fresh start. When they're traded within the league, they keep their current statistics. Weak performers are given a second chance when traded across leagues. So strong performers lose their strong stats. So the study used additional controls, but in the end, fresh starts often helped weak performers improve. They were motivated by the fresh start. However, the opposite occurred for strong performers. A reset appeared demotivating, and often their performance went down. So organizations are ripe with all sorts of performance measures that are constantly reset. Monthly sales quotas, quarterly revenue reports, annual performance review, bonus evaluation. So managers must really be careful and make nuanced approaches to framing performance fresh starts. Dai, the author of the study, he wrote, by recognizing that performance resets do not affect all individuals equally, organizations and managers can better harness the benefits and avoid the disadvantages of resets. So let's look at execution and continual improvement. So when you, there, there are a lot of parallels between the two. So essentially what's required for both is to take a critical look at the current state, where you are, right? Um, this should, second bullet should, should read critical look at desired state, right? So where you are and where you want to go, you look at the distance and the direction of where you, um, how far it is that you need to travel and in what direction you need to travel. And then of course you take actions and then you recalculate to see if those actions were an improvement, right? The same thing occurs with execution, right? It, it's, it's a lock step and then you essentially repeat. So in the end, execution is really a relentless pursuit of reality. Here you are and you're continually trying to find reality coupled with the processes for constant improvement. It's a huge change in behavior, i.e. it's a change in culture. So here are a few ways to connect um, and some of the content that we have available. We're looking at the executive guide, but if you want to go to Amazon or YouTube, you can look at some of the other content that's available as well as my website. Thank you. I hope to see you next time.